Welcome back, viewers. Today we are going to learn about entropion. Entropion is inward rolling of the eyelid margin. It may be conformational, developmental, spastic, or cicatricial. Entropion signs vary depending on severity. Most commonly, squinting eye, discharge rubbing the eye, nasal discharge, swollen eyelids, red eyes eyelid spasms, raised third eyelid, conjunctivitis, cloudy cornea and ulceration. Diagnosis, signalment, signs and symptoms, history. Animals have a history of epiphora with mucopurulent ocular discharge, rubbing of the eyes, and blepharospasm. A non-surgical method of treating entropion includes subcutaneous injection of an antibiotic, such as procaine penicillin, which provides temporary eyelid margin aversion and relief from trichiasis and blepharospasm. The larger the volume injected, the greater the eyelid margin aversion. Surgical correction is generally required. Surgical techniques. Success is greater and complications fewer if tissue trauma is minimal, tissue resection accurate, and hemostasis well controlled. There are two common surgical techniques, eyelid tacking, excisional procedures using 3-0 or 4-0 absorbable, vicryl, polydeoxinone, or non-absorbable suture, polypropylene, silk, nylon. Insert the needle into the skin and through the tarsal plate and orbicularis muscle, 3 mm from the eyelid margin. Exit the needle, 5 mm from its insertion, to complete the first bite. Position the second bite over the rim of the orbit, with the needle directed away from the eye. Pass the needle through the skin, subcutaneous tissue, and orbital fascia, and exit, creating a second 5 mm bite. Do not penetrate the eyelid margin or conjunctiva. Tie the suture, inverting a furrow of skin. Place additional sutures as necessary to correct both upper and lower lid entropion. Alternatively, place skin staples after inverting the skin with a lid plate or tongue depressor between the eyelid and globe. Place a few drops of surgical glue within the created furrow to reduce tension on the suture line. 